Hey guys, it's Jeff. I'm here with Sarah and Evan today, and we are on a mission to answer one question, which is, what is in the sand underwater? Mm -hmm. Everybody goes diving on the reefs, which are fantastic, or the wrecks, which are equally amazing, mm -hmm. but uh, we wanted to find out what just kind of lurks in the sand in, say, 10, 20 feet of water. So stick with us through the end of the video. We've got 10 things to show you, and it's going to be amazing. So to answer our question about what is lurking in the sand, we went out uh, with our scuba gear, got mm -hmm. all that on, and dove the south side of the Frederickstead Pier on the west end of St. Croix in the U.S. Virgin Islands. Uh, the pier is an amazing dive site in and of itself. Wouldn't you guys agree? Yeah, oh, absolutely. Definitely. It's a must-do here for sure, but a lot of people don't explore that sand. So that's where we went out, and we just kind of hunted around to see what we could find. We did. But number one on our list, uh, what, was, what was number one, Sarah? The flame box crab. The flame box crab. So we ran into him almost immediately, right? Yeah. It's about four inches... Dad went down there and got some cool macro video of it while I got some aerial view of him doing all of that. It was really cool. Yeah, so this guy's just buried in the sand down here. He's uh, about four inches long, really hard to see. He's uh, you know, He's got a creamy carapace and uh, you know just some wavy you know reddish brown lines, but he blends in really, really well. If we, uh, if we kind of zoom yeah. in on the mm -hmm. macro, what, what, do we, what do we got? We got him just laying in the sand, only like his eyes visible, and then sometime around there he comes up, it looks really cool, and goes walking out on the sand. Yeah, he kind of he kind of all of a sudden explodes out of the sand and just takes off, right? And yeah. if we slow that down, it looks even cooler. So, mm -hmm. you know, just slow motion, he's just bursting out of that sand and, and running. So followed him um, kind of around the sand for just, I don't know, a few seconds. Yeah. Didn't want to bother him too much, but we followed him around the sand. And, uh, and then he buried himself again, and I think you caught him on camera this time. Yeah, it was really cool just seeing him bury himself, seeing how he did it, and then yeah, just barely see him anymore. Like we see, he takes his little claws and kind of beats on the sand, and, the, yeah. and it just washes over the top of him. Creature number two that we found in the sand, what was it? The golden tail moray. Golden tail moray. So how did we, how did we come across him? I was just cruising along the sand and saw this tail in this crevice of the rock and came around and then saw the mouth and a shrimp and uh, this big yellow eye. <laughs> yeah, so we set the big camera up again, mm -hmm. right? And we kind of zoomed in there. We got some good GoPro yep. footage of where his little home is. But uh, really when you zoom in there... So that there's a shrimp and then the, the eye. Yeah. So nice and bright and yellow. <laughs> yeah, and the that, teeth. Yeah. <laughs> That banded shrimp gets up in his face and kind of crawls on him. He gets a little annoyed and says, get off. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. absolutely hilarious. <laughs> All right, sea creature number three. What is it? The peacock flounder. We found this guy right in the sand. He surprisingly did not swim away. He let us get right up close to him. We got some really nice close-up of his eyes moving around independently. His eye shape is really unique, and at one point in there, I think he actually changed his color to a little bit lighter pattern in there. What do you think? I, he totally does. You can see the coloration change, mm -hmm. um, you know, to match the sand color as he, like, shifts around. It's mm -hmm. instantly. It's crazy how quick yeah. they change Very colors. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, with the macro lens on there, the, the eyes, oh my gosh, the eyes are incredible. They rotate independently, and they, they kind of, oh my, they're just alien-like. <laughs> Right, really like cool. Evan said, the eye shape was a lot different than I expected, and mm -hmm. yeah. it was cool to see that. Yeah, absolutely. So, peacock flounder, really cool. Yeah. Sea creature number four. So there are these anemone kind of all over the place down there, and they just attach themselves to little substrate or rocks in the sand. We found a few. Creature number four is... The spotted cleaner shrimp. Living in the anemone, right? Mm -hmm. so Absolutely. We got to get out the macro lens again and really zoom in there, but it's amazing the life that's living inside these anemone, right? Yeah. Right. They're mm -hmm. tiny. Um, they're really cool to look at when you can see them up close. They have these tan and white saddle markings on them and just mm -hmm. climbing all over the anemone. Yeah. yeah. Transparent bodies are mm -hmm. just, they're, they're amazing creatures. Pretty wild. Yeah. yeah. So you got to really look in there, but. They're awesome. Mm -hmm. They are. 
small right. but awesome. So sea creature number five, still keeping with the anemone, we've got what? The Pedersen cleaner shrimp. He was living in another anemone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. This shrimp is very small, almost transparent, but it's got some small blue lines on it, which makes it just barely visible. And it moves around right along with the anemone there, and it's just really cool. Yep. We actually caught him on film swimming by. It was hard to keep him in focus, but we got him a little bit in focus. He's almost off camera, but he swims by. If we slow it down, we can see his tiny little transparent legs, like, still really working it. I think Very he slowed small. it down about 75% from, yeah. from normal speed here. But, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, he's cool. Okay, sea creature number six is mm -hmm. what? The banded jawfish. The banded jawfish. Where do we find him, Evan? We find him in the small holes around in the sand with shells decorated for like protection and it also looks really cool. Normally they're a bit shy from people and divers and they go back in and it's hard to see them, but they're really cool. Yeah, we gotta be patient to get his video and take mm -hmm. his picture. He doesn't like the divers and the bubbles too much, so you gotta be patient and and take your time, but we found this guy and he's got the eggs in his mouth. Yeah. Right? He's protecting really cool. Protecting the little eggs. So mm -hmm. Yeah, it was a great find. Yep. Banded jawfish, number six. <laughs> sea creature number seven living in the sand is what? A seahorse. The seahorse. <laughs> a fan favorite for sure. Mm -hmm. These guys are awesome, huh? Yes, yeah. absolutely. And this one, um, orange in color, but sometimes we've seen purple and browns and even a darker, almost black color. And this one mm -hmm. was really cool. Yeah, we can find them attached to the pier and different sponges and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But this guy we found out in the sand uh, attached to a feather duster worm on a rock. So... Yeah. He's just hanging out there, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yep. it was a little hard to see at first because of the protection of the feather worm, and uh, it was cool. Yep. Yeah. But we were able to get down there, get his photo, let him have a nice day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sea creature number eight, another fan favorite for sure is what? The green sea turtle. I found this guy in 10, 15 feet of water in the sand and eating the seagrass, and he let me come right up close to him, get some cool front shot views of him above him with the shell all swimming out and it was just really cool great experience for sure mm -hmm. and uh, amazing video you yeah. captured of him Thanks. he didn't seem to care in the no. least that you were just watching him snack mm -hmm. uh, on his algae some at the end of the video he also starts scratching his shell he's got like yeah. a little itch right he's like hey let me take care of this mm -hmm. yeah that was pretty cool to see <laughs> so but lots of green turtle, uh, sea turtles down there. Also a lot of hawksbill turtles uh, at the pier. Mm -hmm. uh, this guy, this guy, let us let us hang out. Let you get yeah. some great video. Really cool. Yeah, awesome. Sea creature number nine found in the sand is what? The garden eel. Very cool to watch. Uh, they get down back in the sand as you approach mm -hmm. them, but very fun to watch uh, as they come up very slowly and just kind of go back and forth with the current. Yeah, there's usually a whole field of them out there. They look yeah. kind of like seagrass, but once you get closer, mm -hmm. you realize these things are alive. They are. <laughs> <laughs> really cool. They're cool. Okay, so sea creature number 10 found in the sand. Uh, we found these guys actually on a subsequent night dive. Uh, it was a pair of batfish out there. Yeah, they're very unique fish. They like to walk on the sand instead of swim around in the reef and the pillars and everything. And they just, they definitely look different than all the ordinary fish out there. They are. Their little peck fins have become feet and they just... <laughs> I don't know. Walk around. Walk around. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very fun to watch. And like Evan said, they're very unique and mesmerizing. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. Okay. So the big takeaway I think from today is don't discredit scuba diving out in the sandy parts of the world. There's yeah. tons of life there. Mm -hmm. Everybody goes and dives the reefs and the reefs are awesome. Yes. Right. They're beautiful, colorful, lots of fish. Yep. Mm -hmm. And the shipwrecks and the artificial reefs are pretty cool too. Yeah. They are pretty cool just to have fish hang out there. Also, they are a good foundation for coral reefs for to attract even more bigger, unique fish out there. They sure are. But once you get out over the sand, there's a lot mm -hmm. of life to experience there and a lot to explore as well. Yeah. So, I don't know. Today we found all kinds of good stuff underwater there. Mm -hmm. what, uh, what was your favorite, Evan? My favorite was the batfish just because of how unique it is and how they walk on the sand. It's really cool. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I like that flame box crab. It's so cool to see the eyes sticking out of the sand and then that colorful carapace once he comes out. 
Yep. Yeah. And your green sea turtle video. Yeah. Awesome. Nice. Very nice. It was really cool out there. Yeah, it was really cool. He just kind of let you just, yeah. you know, hang next to him for a little mm, bit. Didn't uh, care. Got a great <laughs> shot of him just snacking and then kind of moving on. So, yeah. all right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. And go ahead and hit that bell so you get notifications mm -hmm. of each and every one of our dives. We don't want you to miss a dive. Um, but uh, if you haven't seen our Frederickstead Pier video, we're going to link to that above and in the end screen. So mm -hmm. make sure to watch that next. We go through the entire dive of the pier itself as well. So yeah. good stuff. But uh, until next time, be safe and have fun diving.